Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. I've got a bit of a throg in my throat today so I'm finding it very difficult. I've got a bit of a, a, a fluey chesty type of thing today so not good at all. Anyway without further ado let's have a look at the palette. Yeah, so I was contemplating on uh, not doing a video today, but um, I've very many, not very many weeks that I actually don't put a video out. So I thought, well, you know, let's go for it. So I've got a bit of uh, um, Hooker's Green, Process Blue today, Prussian Blue, and I've got a little bit of this, um, I forgot what that is, actually. It's, um, it's, it is, it is. <laughs> It's um, phyllo green, sorry, and some uh, a titanium white and some black. So, yeah, I'm finding it very difficult not to cough. So I'm going to do a little another quick seascape. This is going to be a very quick painting. There we are, just painting on cardboard as I normally do, and um, yeah, I just put a bit of a high horizon line in there. I'm going to make this quick. So sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes. Um, Quick paintings, just to get the brain cells working, gives you something to think about if you're in between paintings. If you've got a bit of a painter's block, so say you're doing um, some, some lovely painting and you just can't think for the life of you what to do and how to get over this particular problem, then just grab a little bit of canvas like this, just get some paint on it, put that other one aside, and then just, just play with a, another painting for a bit. And this is another reason I like doing these type of paintings because some of the projects that I've done over the years are quite time consuming and quite um, taxing on your brain and we, we, we're all human beings at the end of the day and what we tend to do is get the same type of problems and um, sometimes putting the painting down one side um, and doing something else another little project or something like that that's why a lot of artists have got uh, two or three paintings on the go is because of that particular block that you can get sometimes during painting the painting process so a little bit of process blue today as i said this is a lovely blue this is i'm liking this blue a lot there we go putting a bit of that in yeah and just just change your chain of thought and the way you think about a little bit of prussian blue uh, the way you think about that particular painting then by putting giving it a rest you're giving your eyes a rest you're giving your brain a rest and <clears throat> excuse me you're giving your eyes a rest and your brain a rest and then um you'd be surprised when you pick that painting back up you'll go oh that was easy and sometimes it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that and the problem is solved as they say there we go nice bit of sky nice bit of sky let's get some of this green this blue and a little bit of this field green a bit of white i want to get the turquoise -y type of blue seeing there we go try and get that straight line just spend a little bit of time with that get a little bit of masking tape or something like that i haven't got the time today I haven't, got the, I haven't got the energy today to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the time and the energy to worry about it today. Demonstration painting if you want. There you go. Look at that lovely turquoise blue colour. A little bit of phyllo green in that blue. Lovely jubbly. Nicely done. Let's get that bit more lighter a little bit lighter as we come forward just a little bit lighter as we come forward there we go I like a nice quick seascapes very easy isn't it it is very easy let's get a little brush I'm gonna put some um, clouds in People say, what brushes you use? Oh, well, students' brushes, just any old brushes. I don't... I've got high-quality brushes um, that I use for other projects. Um, I've got loads of brushes, actually. <laughs> loads of them. I'm looking at my, my brushes as, I, as I'm talking to you. 
I got loads of brushes here, but there we go. So let's get a little bit of Prussian blue. Yeah, students brushes, just just any old brush really. I'm not I'm not particular. I'm just looking at the quick size and shape of of um a brush that I want to use and I I'll, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. I don't really worry about any particular size brush. There we go. I just want a little bit darker. Brush it on in like this. Do 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 do. <coughs> Yeah, I wasn't uh, I wasn't going to come out today and paint, but I thought, well, I know a lot of you look forward to <coughs> Mondays or Tuesdays. Sometimes I can't upload on a Monday for whatever reason. I'll always upload on a Tuesday. So just a few little lines in the sky, just like that. And then we just get some pure white. Just fluff a few shapes in. Just like that. A little highlight here and there, just to like as if there's a little bit of light catching on. And his clouds are fluffing in that in as well. <clears throat> yeah, we're a little bit down there as well, I think. Yeah, what, 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 I've, I, I haven't been feeling very well the last few days, actually, and um, I had to go and get my flu jab today. Because um, it's that time of year when we need our inoculations. And... Um, it's knocked me for six a little bit, and my arm is really aching where they injected me. And well, there we go. It's one of them things we got to have. Well, I always think of my health. My health's got to come first. And if I think I can have a couple of days discomfort through an inoculation, just to have a sh assurance that I won't get the flu too strong. Because it doesn't mean I won't have the flu or COVID. It just means that it won't be so severe. So. And that's um, that's all pretty good because I'm a winner then. <laughs> I'm a winner. Right, let's dry that off with a hairdryer <coughs> and have a good cough. <laughs> See what I was drying at to put some mist in white, um, or mix in white, I should say, mix in, mix in white. If anybody's interested, it's uh, that particular brand. There you go. Um, it's a it's a mix in white. It's very translucent, and why I use it is because I like to do things like this. So I'm getting a lot of water in this. Now I can get away with that because I've got cardboard. If you're thinning your paints more than forty odd percent, forty four percent, forty seven percent with water, and you're using canvas panels or canvas, then make sure that it's completely dry before you varnish it, and you need to give it a couple of coats of varnish. Otherwise, it'll peel and flake over time. So I'm just putting a bit of that on. There you go. Just to mist that down. And blend that in together. Like that, that. So it's called a glaze, basically. You just a glaze of colour. Just to give a little bit of depth to that over there. There you go. There you go. I'll do me. Um, we could, I suppose, I maybe just have a think of what I can do, maybe. Could I put, well, you could if you wanted to put a, um, some headlines or something in there. Let's see if I can do that. Shall I put some headlines in? I'm just using a bit of fresh and blue just for that. Maybe there's a, an island or something like It could be a tropical island, couldn't it? Just a little bit of a tropical island there in the background. <laughs> Let's get some nice little waves. And breakers coming in. A little bit 
vigorous that I was with the brush, but it's okay, we'll work with it. We'll just blend that in there like that. Maybe there's just a little flicks. water wavelets, things like that. Make that a little bit more pronounced by just dipping in a little bit of foam onto that. There we are. And these are just fun little paintings. These are the type of paintings I would do if I was, <coughs> when I had my art group, I would just do these type of things and people would have a go and think, wow, I can paint. And, and yeah, you can paint. Anybody can paint, really, if you just want to believe you can, really. Just put a bit of shadow just under that little wave right there, like that. There you go. Get that down. Let's get a little bit more of that coming in. I'm not worried about this bit. I'm going to sort that out in a minute. So might not even see this wave but we know it's there if we, even if we don't see it we know it's there because we've just painted it there we go so let's get some Prussian blue and I gotta get some hookers green and I'm just gonna put this hookers green and Prussian blue just like this. Let's get a little bit of white. D D D D D. And as I said, I'm not doing anything in particular today. I'm not really worried about what it looks like or not. I just want to get a an idea of. You could take this onto a bigger paint, and I've always said that you could take this onto a bigger paint, and if you really wanted to, she's just playing with blues and greens basically today. And if you've got a limited palette, or <coughs> you just happen to have just limited paints, and you just want to have a go, a little bit of black then just use the paints you've got. Doesn't matter where if it doesn't matter if the sky's yellow. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the sky is blue or purple. It, 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 it you could still paint, it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is just have fun and enjoy the process of what you're doing. And then you can if you can if you can afford the colours, then you can buy it the colours you want to do. But I mean it doesn't matter, does it? If you've only got three if you've only ever got three colours, if you've only got three colours to play with, then just play with them. Nobody says I say that's right or wrong. It depends. basically it's down to down to you. What do you feel comfortable with? Okay. Let's get some green, some white. Make that really thin. I'm just gonna put some very light, thin, thick, thin. Just just keep brushing up like that. Just get this. I don't want to kill that. I don't want to kill that wave if I can help it. I want to try and keep that, maintain that wave if I can. So I'm just gonna put some blades of grass in, just like this. Just keep doing that, mix in a bit more water to it. I'll put all this in first, this colour. Just flicking. I'm thinking the wind may be blowing this way. Someone goes straight off the edge of the the frame there, there we go. Put an easy in like this. And let's get some darker colour. Let's get a bit of that 
Prussian blue, bit of hooker's green, bit of white, slightly darker colour, maybe a little bit darker than that, add a little bit at a time. Building, building, building. Just like that. A little bit of black, a little bit of black. Don't like using too much black, but I just want to put some shadows and stuff in. And just a couple of these, just going in different directions, just like that, just to make it look a bit of, giving it a bit of depth, basically. There we are, let's put some shadows in there. So they are shadowy, shadowy ones. <laughs> if you want shadowy ones, yeah. Blonky, blonky, blonk. Just keep doing that. Light and dark, dark and light. That's all it is. That's all it is. Just an illusion. All we're doing is painting illusions. Painting illusions. That's all art is. That's all painting is, really. It's just, just an illusion. Couple of lighter ones here and there. You get the idea. I can be painting this, and I, I can't, I can't paint too much because my arm is really, really sore. When I've had the injection today. Oh, right. Okay. And let's get um, the brush that I did the clouds with. I think. I hope this will work. Anyway, let's have a look. Maybe that should be a bit brighter. I'm trying to get this to look like as if it's that feathery stuff that you see on some of these plants. Just like wisps of, I don't know what it is. I don't know what this stuff is actually. But it's just a bit of contrast. There we are. It's supposed to be wispy bits of like feathery leaves, if that makes any sense. A bit like a palm tree on a Palm leaves, just those wispy type of feathery things. <laughs> there we go. Put a bit of film more in your. Just read to things. There you go. Just the wind is blowing, and that's all it is. This, 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 this is representing how do you how do you paint wind? Where you paint with things blowing in the wind. There you go. <laughs> It's just a <laughs> seascape there. Put a few birds flying in the sky. <laughs> Let's 
get that through. Dops and dabs, maybe there's some flowers and things there. I don't know what they could, what they could, they, they could be, um, I don't know, whatever flowers they are. There we go. Don't know what they are actually. They could be anything, couldn't they? Thanks for stopping by. I'll do. <laughs> That'll do for today because I've had enough. <laughs> Have fun, enjoy, and uh, just paint away that stress of everyday life. Bye. And don't forget to click subscribe.